Hey guys, we're at the Excel Group in Southern California at High Bikes headquarters. And we're looking at the Xduro Full 7 and we've got the Bosch Intuvia display panel. This is one of my favorite displays in part because it's removable. See that tab back there? Just press on that, take it with you. It does have a little coin battery inside that you might have to replace with help from a dealer. You gotta unscrew all these uh, little screws and stuff. My uncle had one of these bikes for a couple years and eventually he thought the display was broken. He just had to replace that battery. Um, so you can kind of turn it on even when it's off the bike. I'm not really sure why you'd want to, maybe just to use the clock. It's not wireless or anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it back off, put it on the mount, slide it down, kind of locks into place. And now we can turn it on once again. And the cool thing about this display is that you turn it on from here. You don't need to press any buttons on the battery pack or anything. Uh, Bosch has some awesome batteries. This is the Power Pack 400. Now they have a 500. It's the same case. It fits in the same mount. I love that. They have one of the smaller, lighter weight chargers compared to Rosa and Yamaha, and it's four amps, so it fills it very quickly. The other thing about charging is that this display has an active micro USB port. So you see that right there? I've actually plugged my devices into it, my iPhone in particular, with this little dongle cable that I made. So micro USB to like the lightning adapter, and it did work. So I think this is offering five volts, 500 milliamps of power, and you can mount your phone there or a GPS. Also, this mounting interface, you could use that for the Nion, which is a European color display panel with GPS integrated, or you can get the new Kobe system, which uses your phone to control the bike and to use GPS and everything else. But again, this display on its own is pretty good. It can swivel to reduce glare a little bit, and it has a remote button pad that's very easy to reach while you're riding so you don't have to take your hands off and move around. So I'm just gonna run through the different displays here. We have five ticks on the battery infographic at the top, 20% increments, speed in the middle, a bunch of different trip stats at the bottom, and then a power meter that surges as you ride the bike and the motor kicks out power, and then the four levels of assist. So we're in off right now, but if I press the plus button, we go to eco, tour, sport, EMTB mode, did you see that? That's because we're using a Bosch Performance Line CX motor. So EMTB is like an all-in-one mode. It gives you 120 up to 300% assist. Whereas way down here in eco, you're only getting 50%, tour, 120%, 120 to 300 in EMTB, and then straight up 300 in turbo. So you're just getting really zippy performance out of that. These percentages vary depending on which Bosch motor you have. This display can be used with any of the different, you know, Active Line, Active Line Plus, Performance, Performance Speed, Performance Line CX, five motors that Bosch offers, and they have two displays. I've done another video on the Purion, which is a tiny little display, almost looks like this button pad, but it has an LCD built in. I much prefer the Intuvia myself because it's so big, I can see it, I can charge from it. The Purion does not have an active charging port. Also, the buttons here click really easily. No matter where you press with the Purion, you have to kind of press it feels like just right, you know? And then in the middle, there's an eye button. So you don't even have to look down when you're riding. You can feel that rubberized eye and it's replicated over here. The eye button goes through these trip stats down here, okay? So we're at max speed right now, average speed, trip time, range. Range is so cool because it's dynamic. We're in turbo mode right now, but if I press the minus key, go down to EMTB, it says, okay, 23 miles. Tour mode, 31 miles. Eco mode, 50% assist, 61 miles. You know, it's kind of a weak assistance, but still it's taken some of the weight off the bike. A lot of e-bikes weigh 50 plus pounds, so that's awesome. And then odometer, trip distance, clock, max speed. So we've kind of gone all the way around. Uh, let's go ahead and reset this max speed. We just hold reset. It's as simple as that, right? There's no extra button combinations to remember. You wanna turn on lights if they're integrated, press the light button. And a lot of shops can integrate lights. They connect them to the motor controller unit and I think it's like a six volt. Uh, they, could, they could put those in if you don't have them, even on like a mountain bike. And now there's monkey link, there's all kinds of stuff. So having a light button is really cool. And then as we, uh, as we continue to go, see it reset our max speed, but it didn't reset our average speed. We get to do that independently. So it's just, there's just so much more nuance to this display. Um, there's one more thing on the button pad. There's a walk mode button at the top. You have to be in one of the four levels of assist and then you'd press walk 
and then you hold the plus button. It is not enabled for this bike. And some companies like Trek, they disable walk mode for all their bikes. I'm not really sure why, because if you get a flat tire or something, maybe you're walking through sand that you can't ride. It's really nice to have that. So I don't know. It does work on a lot of bikes and there are software updates your dealer can help you do. Now the final question is, okay, well, how do I change from miles per hour to kilometers per hour? You hold reset and I simultaneously. Got to do it just right. There we go, configuration. So now I can press the I button and I can adjust these things. Like I could set the clock, the wheel circumference, the language, the units, kilometers or miles. So there we go, I'm gonna keep it at miles. Time format, 24 hour or 12 hour. Shift recommendation, that's kind of cool. There's these little arrows that point up or down when the motor thinks it could be more efficient if you shifted gears. Because remember, it's a mid-motor. It's pulling the same chain as you are, and you can make it easier for it to get better miles. Power on, display version, uh, firmware version, some other technical information, the battery version, and that's it. Okay, so once you're done with those, you have to do it just right again. Press reset and I, and there we go. We're back into the display. I think that's about it. I welcome your feedback. If I missed anything or if you have any other tips, I'm going to link to a forum entry where I'll have some pictures and a lot of details listed out in the description of this video. Have fun out there and as always, ride safe.